Governor Okeze Ikpazu attended an event in USC involving a close family member and left the country on the 12th of March 2020 to join the Chairman of Abia State Scholarship Board, Ambassador M. Pair Kano, to anchor a meeting between the state and management teams, teams of some key educational institutions in Australia with regards to the state's foreign scholarship scheme. The highly successful engagement in Austria, Australia sought to secure scholarships and placements for young Abians in those institutions as well as secure jobs for them while studying in the country. Among those met by Governor Ipazu was the Pro Vice Chancellor of International Affairs of Flinders University, Mr. Sebastian Ranskold, and they have ordered postgraduate scholarships to 20 Abians in STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics areas. Discussion between the parties covered opportunity for work and learning as well as subsidies in accommodation for a prospective student there. Governor Iqbazu was originally scheduled to return to Nigeria today, Friday 20th of March 2020, to attend Vanguard Personality Awards in Lagos, where he was nominated to receive an award as Governor of the Year 2019. That program has been postponed by the organizers due to the recent ban on gathering of more than 50 persons by the Lagos state government. But Governor Ikwazu will still arrive today and subsequently move to Abia State to personally take charge of our efforts to protect our people from COVID-19 pandemic. Kindly ignore the mischief making by persons and blogs sponsored by a sore Abia, a poor Abia politician who continues to engage in activities deliberately conceived to deceive, regularly churn out malicious articles to disrupt the peace being enjoyed in the state, peddle outright and cheap falsehoods to mislead the gullible and continue to sponsor all kinds of negatives against the state ostensibly because the good people of our state rejected him twice as he posed. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. Interesting. These uh, are politicians. They just know how to go from places to places. And I could remember, I uh, just remember some videos. I saw some videos uh, on on internet, on v on YouTube. Uh, someone make the video, made a video of uh, how dirty, the dirtiest place in, in Nigeria. I don't know whether in Africa, the dirtiest city in Africa. Uh, uh, Abia State uh, in Nigeria or in Africa is Abia State. You know, the video is there, speculation, even before now. You know, we've heard about uh, a lot of things concerning that uh, state, and it's the same state that a lot of things and a lot of shenanigans have been happening. But one thing that baffles me here is that these people always go outside the country, they see how those places are. Went to USA, you went to Australia, this and this and that, blah, 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 blah. But why is it that they cannot replicate the same thing they see over there? They see their environment so dirty, they see everywhere so dirty, and they themselves, they are more richer, far, far richer than those politicians they go and meet over there. You know, they will just paint a lot of things. Of course, I'm not disputing the fact that some of their opponents will be, you know, looking for a way to bring them or to say something about them, not even bringing them down, say, say something about them. But that is not even the area which I really want to look into. But the is issue is that it baffles me that these guys go outside the country, they see what happens. Why is it that the, the same so-called uh, scholarship whatsoever is not being given to foreigners to come to our country, to come and school? Any little thing they will tell you, oh, they are being given scholarship to go abroad to go and school but they, nobody comes to our country no foreign foreigners come to our country to come and school to come and do good good things let them be rushing us no it's a different argument entirely you see that you see the poverty ravaging the old people in the country let each governor begin to do what they ought to do in the lives of the people they won't do it but I'm sure he saw all of those, the every all the areas that he went to, whether in the USA or Australia, 
it's not as if you will see some places that are meant for the for the rich people or some people some places meant for the poor people no you can never see that you can't even differentiate who is rich or who is poor even when they still have poor people among them but in our case it's a different bogey mentality they will just be going from places to be from places to places receiving award i don't even know who are the organizers of those awards they just put themselves together form a manner of a, a, a event giving themselves award upon award upon presiding over over what is not i don't just want to be using some kind of word over what is what one cannot even be proud of they are presiding over uh, 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 such people yes they are still happy they are still giving them awards here and there giving them awards here and there it's just unfortunate when are these people going to learn they just believe in themselves they just believe in their family they just have interest in their own family and maybe some of the people that support them to get to where they are where they are that is just those are the people they are concerned about because that is the question i'm always asking these guys you travel you see what happens over there just copy and paste replicate what you see over there no because they know that by the time they replicate it it, it involves money and the money will not be enough for them to acquire and stock for themselves that is what has been happening they will continue to tell you oh, there's no money there's no money but what is being uh, uh, budgeted for their own lifestyle is very very outrageous the allowances they they, they come together they put in law to to fend for themselves is outrageous the question they've not been able to ask those who are always coming to uh appraise them or support them or applaud them they know they don't ask that question why is it that our politicians are richer than those so-called developed countries where things are working why is it so why is it that they don't they don't talk about all those things we don't have money to do a lot of things in the country but we have money to furnish the lifestyles of this prayer of these our leaders or these so-called politicians why is it so is it not ironical they will tell you they are getting a word who is giving a word giving a word on towards now beautiful nonsense i don't just get it's a different ball game entirely that they uh, said there's uh, some people who could not say uh, that is what they always say when whether they get to that position by uh by fire by force but at the end of the day they will see use that to stunt to taunt people that oh those who could not even that they rejected three times that they are the ones that will be going against them that a lot of people have been saying all manner of things it's all you know they always get in the way with this with uh, like i always say because some people are somewhere the masses too themselves they are somewhere somehow defending them and they will be laughing at oh well there are some people who still be gullible to see defend them and the ones who are defending them their voices are louder than the ones who are saying the right thing that is where the problem lies in this country across board it's unfortunate really really unfortunate copy and paste what you see over there no it will never they won't do it they won't do it someone says which award was he coming to receive i believe it's governor of the year for failure and mediocrity we are being sprayed as the evil that are befalling abia said in leadership never happened again someone says amen someone says you are the one deceiving people and our God will deceive you. Governor Iquazu is a total failure and has nothing to offer to Habians. He should go into self-isolation when he comes back to not to transmit the uh, virus. Of course, that is really important. Of course, are you sure they are going to do that? Mm. They will feel that so they are immune for many form of things. I think it's very, very key. And someone says, uh, now, now they hear this who... Oh, my state, God's own state, is devil's own place. He no tire you, no good rules, no good companies where people can get something doing and you're investing outside. Clap for your save, Ikpazu. And also American state governor in Nabia to attend his state official functions. Please tell our governor to look into the state first before going to abroad for help. The infrastructure in Nabia state is nothing to write about. Have you been to courts, schools, hospitals, markets, roads in Abia? Fix all this first before traveling abroad. This is pure picture of Akibo or Gorilla. Nigeria government should put him in isolation. 
the government of Abia State pledged allegiance to Hindu religious and believe just to be sure he is in power. The evidence was just discovered by EFCC just recently during an during raid in one of his houses in Abuja. Hmm. Growing fat like a gorilla. Are you saying with certainty that what was written about the governor concerning oath taken with the sponsors before a Hindu god were fabricated, even with the oath taken documents shown? So, where is IPOP rumors in USA? Uh, do I hear governor of uh, the year 2019, Daydreamers? So, guys, uh, let us hear your opinion concerning what he has said because a lot of things are going on online concerning him. He's trying to debunk it and, you know, trying to paint the scenario that he has been doing this, he has been doing that for the people of Abia. Let us hear your take concerning this.